Hey friends, Rob here doing a response and a review to the latest Jefferson Bethke spoken word, counterfeit gods. Absolutely awesome, friends. Let's bring this even to a higher level than why I hate religion but love Jesus, man. Let's spread this around. Hit the like button. Give me your comments. Let's spread the gospel to a lost and dying generation, friends, that desperately needs to hear the message of God's grace, compassion, love, mercy, and kindness. And before I get into this, I'm a minister of the gospel. Desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. Go for it. Hit the subscribe button. Also under the search, Rob Wood One. Many other Christian preaching, teaching, ministry videos where I expound, talk about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. But I love the term, what's on your throne, friends? Who's in control? Is it you or is it the Lord? In other words, does the stuff you have, does it own you or do you own it? Because the Bible clearly says, have no other gods with a little g before God. Have no other idols have no other golden calves. It's time to break and smash the idols through the power of the Holy Spirit and the grace of God. We can only do it through relationship. We've got to get so inebriated and so in love with the Lord himself and allow him into the door of our heart because the reality, friends, is you control the doorknob. God did not create spiritual robots. You can accept him due to obedience. You can reject him due to disobedience. But the reality is, is we're spiritually created beings. You will never die. I will never die. When you take your last breath, the elevator goes up to life insurance or it goes down to the basement where there's fire insurance. Come on now, you know the scripture, the book of John, third chapter, 16th verse, for God so loved the world, that's me, that's you, that he gave as a gift his only son, Jesus, that if you would believe in Jesus, friends, you'd not perish, you'd have eternal life. The Lord wills no one to perish, but he wants everyone to have the assurance and insurance that when we take our last breath, friends, we will make heaven a home, and the only way we can have that insurance policy is by, is by having Christ in our, in our hearts and having our lives submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, because either he's Lord at all, or he's nothing at all, man. Come on now, we've got to make God everything, and remember, being a Christian is a process. It's a, like a construction site. It's not an overnight type of gig. You know, it's like the maturation or the maturing of an infant. You know, you go from milk you know, you're not going to become a Christian and be stuffing filet mignon down your throat. It's a process. It's like baby steps. So get have patience with yourself because the Lord does and love yourself the way God sees you because he loves you with an irrevocable, unconditional love. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everybody under the sound of my voice. I ask you to love, I ask you to smash them with the love of God, touch them and whack them up with the Holy Spirit that they'll never, ever be able to doubt that you don't love them and have a great mighty plan. Again, if you desire to subscribe to my ministry channel, go for it. Be blessed in Jesus' name.